Hi, in this method you're going to learn how to multiply two numbers using Chinese method. Now in Chinese method or lettuce method what we do is we split every number into two parts. So every digit is split up into, I mean every product is split up into its units and tens. So if I've got 154, I need to put it down 154 and every number is going to have a square. Right, so let me draw a rectangle first now that is my rectangle now because I've got three numbers there okay so I'm going to split it up in three parts okay so I've got a part here a part there now what I can do is I can write down here my number numbers are going to go like they are one okay it's going to go uh, so I've got number one there one here I've got five here and I've got four here and I'm multiplying that by five so I put five here now each part each square is going to split up diagonally okay now why we do that is we have got unit and ten here S likewise that's going to give you unit and ten and unit and ten here okay and that's it all you do is you times numbers okay five times four what, what we get from five times four is twenty so you put ten there and unit here okay so in twenty if I put two here and zero here and then five times five is twenty five I put two there and five here and five times one is five now I have to put because I do not have any ten so I put zero there and I get five so five here all you got to do now is you need to add the contents of each diagonal so that so I've got zero here okay two add five makes seven and two add five makes seven now that zero is on its own so my answer for this question is seven hundred and seventy okay now this uh, the when I times two digit number by two digit number it's going to be slightly different you know when you draw a grid it's going to be more squarish right so I've got that so what I do is because I've got two numbers so I get a line here and then I get a line here right so that's more like squarish so then I split it up so when I split them up in diagonals I go, got to draw diagonals that way now that is going to go all the way through and then I get a diagonal here right all I need to do now is I need to times I need to write numbers down order doesn't make difference okay you write number 25 here and number 34 here right all I'm doing now is I'm multiplying 4 by 5 I will put my result here so 4 times 5 is 20 3 times 5 is 15 now 3 times 2 is 6 which should be written down as 0 6 and 4 times 2 is 8 which is my 0 8 now I need to add numbers up diagonally so that is only 0 5 add 2 is 7 add 8 is 15 so I'm carrying 1 so 1 is going to be added to these so 1 add 6 is 7 add 1 is 8 so there's nothing in here so the answer for that question is 850 okay now let's try another one 234 times 43 uh, so if I put 234 so I need to put, put a rectangular part okay so because I got to put 234 there so I split it up in three parts there first okay and then I split it up that way now let's draw diagonals now I will I will have to say that once you start drawing these squares right and diagonals right this method is fairly quick in terms of working out questions because you are not going in any bigger numbers okay so what I do now is I, I will write down 234 and I'm going to multiply that by 43 
okay so let's do that 4 times 4 is 16 and 3 times 4 is 12 4 times 3 is 12 and 3 times 3 is 9 so it's 0 9 4 times 2 is 8 so it's 0 8 and 3 times 2 is 0 6 just add them up now so that's 2 6 at 1 is 7 7 at 6 is 7 at 9 is 16 so I'm carrying 1 6 1 at 2 is 3 add 6 is 9, add 1 is 10 and I carry 1, 1 at 8 is 9, add 1 is 10 so put 0 here and I carry 1, 0 at 1 is 1 so I need to put these numbers together so it's 1, 0, 0, 6, 2 so in other words it's, it's 10,062 okay that's the answer for this question you need to try these questions for me using that okay Good luck with these, right? Okay, thank you for watching.